And uh, it says in your biography, because you're a singer, and it says here you were born crooning. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Probably screaming when I came out. What does that mean? You were born <laughs> crooning. I think for me, I kind of got brought up in, a, in an Irish background from you know from my family, my mum's side, um, and everything from an early age has been about music. Um, what from, kind of music? Well, from 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 being six year old playing an Irish jig in a in a bear suit through to performing <laughs> on stage at twelve, you you name it, I've done it. <laughs> really? So music's been a big big part of my life, and it's I suppose that's kind of and and you'll be doing what kind of music on the night tonight. Predominantly my, my work tonight. now, which is what I'm tonight. tonight. No, it's a week See, on Saturday. I'm saying tonight. Like. A week on Saturday. <laughs> tonight, Matthew. <laughs> tonight, Matthew. I'm going to be yeah. singing. <laughs> um, yeah, no, next Saturday it's going to be very much kind of a lot of the standards, um, you know, the crew and kind of Tony Bennett, um, Frank Sinatra, the, the, the big band era, um, but mixing my musical arrangements in there, uh, which is kind of putting a modern take on, on swing. Um, so it's going to be kind of a big, you know, a big kind of a, a classy event, black tie, people get to dress up. Oh, lovely. Great food. It's, yeah, it's going to be, uh, I'm looking forward to it. How did you start off? You went to the Leeds College of, College of Music, didn't you? Yeah, next door. Yeah. And is that how you started then? I professionally? started professionally um, through school, really. I mean, I've always done the instrumentation side of it, but when I got to school, I um, started singing and, and went through, a, you know, the teacher at my, my school, which kind of promoted that. Then I went to Leeds College of Music to, to, to basically to do a course in, uh, in, in vocal side of things. Um, so it's always been, from an education point of view, I've done everything you can imagine to do the, you know, the grade A, all these kind of skills that you hate doing as a kid, and, but you've got, you've got to do them. It's, so I've always done that, but, and Leeds College of Music was just a kind of, for me, um, a great experience. I mean, some incredible musicians that come out of the, the college. Um, a lot of the guys I still work with now, the guys are out on tour with, you know, really big name acts um, and they're kind of part of the unit that I work with my 11 piece band so it's all grown out of Yorkshire yeah but you have a great time yeah for me, don't you? yeah I love it absolutely love it and you have recorded a new album yeah which is called what reprise of swing and what kind of tracks do we find on this um, we've got a mixture really but I mean the thing that I wanted to achieve was about the kind of musicality side of it um, very much to for the guys to show off what they do um, you know, it's not just about the kind of vocal up front, it's about the music, it's about the, the group together, really. Um, when you've got 11 guys in a room, it's quite a, it's quite a thing. Yeah. And what I want to try and catch, the biggest thing I want to capture is, is a live performance. Um, so the album came around from, from me kind of doing a lot of live corporate events, everything that I've done over the years. I get to see what kind of pe you know, tunes that people react to. Uh, we've got tracks on there, Barry Mallow's, you know, Could It Be Magic, which I'm... We may we may hear today. We've got Sex on Fire by Kings of Leon, all done in kind of a, you know, in, oh, in, a, in a eleven yeah. piece arrangement. Yeah. So it's it's kind of crossing for me. It's crossing the barrier between the kind of purest jazz form, which not everybody kind of understands and appreciates, but also with the, you know, the, just the feel good vibe. That's that's what it's about making good music. Where where do you see yourself going? <clears throat> do you know what Wes? I'm just happy to do what I'm doing. Which is to be out there gigging live. That's that's my biggest thing. If I, it's hilarious. If I don't gig for you know a, a few few days, if I have like a week off or something like that, it becomes quite a. Yeah. You know, I've got to get back on that stage because I just love it. I love gotta it so sing. much. Yeah, I love gotta it. Gotta sing. <laughs> Absolutely. You're trying to get me to sing now, are you? Do you sing every? I mean, do you sing <clears throat> in the shower like I do? Do you do you sing wherever you go? <laughs> well, do you know what? I was speaking to my producer today, Ali, um, and was just saying that. Lovely day. We've done an arrangement of, um, Bill, of Withers. Bill Withers. Yeah, 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 great classic song, um, and that was kind of done. Do you do in... that end note for ages? Not end? as long as Bill Withers. I mean, that is All incredible. Right. Yeah. We'll, we'll, I'll go for sixty percent. Oh, that's not bad though. It's not <laughs> but bad. Not, not the full. Whenever way. it comes on the radio, I always try it. As oh, does right. everybody. You always sing along and try it. You always. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not happening. It's never going to happen. Yeah. So that actually came about. I mean, the the way that I did this, I've got an arranger that I work with. Um, who actually worked at a company called Pop Plan, uh, based in Headingley. Peter Tappan, great arranger, really knows this music. Um, and I kind of put all these ideas down to sing kind of like the ten parts, laying them, laying them up kind of thing. So I'd be kind of, I don't know, in the shower, lovely day, prime example, um, is that I'd kind of come up with the little licks in between 
um, the vocals, to, you know, for the band, the trombone and the trumpet, and it's a le- the original stuff to listen to is hilarious. Composing in the shower. Exactly. <laughs> Just like Mozart <laughs> or Beethoven, I'm sure. Uh, great to meet you, Paul. Thanks very much for coming Thanks, in. A, repeat, a reprise of Swing is the new album. It is, yeah. The single we're going to play off it is called... Could It Be Magic, oh, written by Barry Manilow. Barry Manilow. And, listen, and yeah. listen, let me just say, if you want to see Paul and the Osmonds and, uh, of course, Jay McDonald as well yeah. hosting at the gala a week on Saturday, here is the ticket line number if you want to go to the Queen's Hotel a week on Saturday and see uh, Paul do his thing. And we'll hear him do his thing now. It's 0725 442 one four three. Just before, well, do you mind if I just jump in? Because I've got a few tickets that I've been given as complimentary that I'd like to give away. And what I'd like to ask people, if they want to kind of hear what I do, is to go onto the website, www.paulstonemusic.co.uk, join the mailing list, and we're going to be giving four tickets away, or by I am anyway. That's, okay. Which All right. Well, if well, anyway, if you don't win them, <laughs> the ticket line number <laughs> is, and write this down, 0725 442 143. Thanks a lot, Paul, for thanks coming in you. today, and thanks for bringing in the uh, donuts as well. <laughs> really appreciate that. Paul Stone Thank at BBC you. Radio Leeds. And now, new single off the new album, Reprise of Swing. Spirits move me Every time I'm near you Whirling like a cyclone in my mind You're my lifeline Angel of my lifetime Answer to all answers I can find Baby, I want you to come Come, come into my arms Let me feel the wonder of all of you Could it be magic now? Now and hold on fast Could this be the magic at last? Baby, take me High upon a hillside High up where the stallion meets the sun love you, yes, build my world around you, never leave you till my life is done, baby, I want you to come, come, come into my arms, let me feel the wonder of all of you, could it be magic now, now, now and hold on fast, could this be the magic not a week on Saturday at the Osmonds Gala event organised by Justin and Meryl Osmond at the Queen's Hotel in Leeds. It's BBC.